out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with The Pit, which is a new game. It's on Steam and we're going to play. Hold up. All right, we're going to press any key to start. Um, yep, new game. It's very high-end graphics, isn't it? That's a cool-looking sword. Oh, look at that dude. It's a, a dude with a beard. And I guess he doesn't like the ground. Man, we don't need all this camera swinging, honestly. Okay. I, yeah, is this a is this a cinematic or what is what is going on here, man? There's a lot of okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Welcome to the pit. Okay, to dodge, press the right mouse button. Let's try again. Okay, this is the dodge counter. Increases with every successful dodge and is reset if you get hit. Okay. To dash away, aim and press left shift. Good luck. Uh, okay. Uh, right. How is he kicking people? I mean, I'm just gonna lose here, right? Yeah, I just... The, um... Right. Okay. So far, I'm not really, uh, not really getting what's what's happening here. I, I mean, I'm just losing is what's happening. Um. So as far as I can tell, I've got three controls. Uh, I can da I can dash backwards. Right. But the only way to build up my stuff is to dodge. Right. Right. I mean, he just does way more damage than I do. It's... Uh, okay. I mean, that's... I guess that's a punch that you can do if you're... If you're nasty. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, man. Can I do Can I double dodge his things? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can. Oh, I did. Okay, I double dodge there. All right. Yeah, yeah, but I missed all of the dodging there, and now I'm just gonna get killed. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know. I'll fast forward until I beat the tutorial guy, I guess.
Okay, so I finally beat him. Um, uh, and now we get to watch a, a kill cam, I guess. It wasn't fun beating him, though. Like... Man, there's a lot of uh, time spent on the introductions and stuff, so I don't get a weapon. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So... Everyone else gets to do a bunch of cool moves. Um... Like that. And... I've got some kickboxing that I can do. And I do like a quarter as much damage as they do. Which means that if I'm not perfect, like if I let them hit me at all, I just lose. They have like four times as much health and they do double the damage. So I don't, I don't see, this isn't fun. You've, you've, you've gone the wrong way here, man. You've got a bunch of, uh, Excellently coded AI enemies, um, but you've made the actual uh, combat, my part of the combat, really, really boring. Like that's all I can do unless I unless I dodge or whatever. That's that's really, really boring. All that all that my guy can do is like punch, punch, punch. Um, unless I dodge, and then he does, like, a flip kick or something, which is, I guess, kind of interesting, but not interesting enough to warrant not being able to go on the offensive. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just... I see what you're going for here, and the game looks really nice, and I like the music, and I like the little cinematics and stuff. I like that the things come in, um, uh, with their, with their little colors and stuff. Right, so it only works if you're dodging. So you just stand there and dodge, or don't, because the timing is tricky, right? Because if you go on the offensive, you just lose, because then they just cut you up and you, you don't get an opportunity to dodge. Yeah. Um, it's not fun. That's the problem. That's the, that's the only problem that I have with the game, is that it's not fun. It works, it does what it says it's supposed to do, but the, the actual gameplay of pressing the left bu the left mouse button and the right mouse button is not fun. They're like, my guy has one move, punch, punch, and then if you get a enough dodges in, he does some other kind of okay, cool stuff, but if you screw up even one dodge, you're back to punch, punch, and then you just lose because you have way less health than everybody. Um, yeah. Like... Why does this person have a sword and I don't have a sword? I, I don't, I don't understand what is happening, but I do know that I'm not enjoying myself. So let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Because I'm done playing the game. I'm done. I'm done not having fun playing the game. So let's go look. All right, the pits fight extremely challenging bosses by dodging their every attack and landing powerful combos in a game that tests your reaction speed while making you feel untouchable. I mean, it doesn't make me feel untouchable. It just makes me feel like I don't get to have any fun <laughs> like literally that's that's the way I feel playing this game is that I'm not getting to do anything the closest that I could the closest I can think of that is similar to this is um, one finger death punch uh, which you know you only play you, you only play um, with two you know you play with the the two buttons or whatever. Basically, this is two buttons, but like, in One Finger Death Punch, when you press the button, your character does stuff. And this, like, if you do it at the wrong time, it just does nothing. And if you press block at the wrong spot, then you end up just wasting your combo. I don't know, man. Like, it just all feels really bad. Uh, I'm sure that, like, there, I'm sure there's a market for this out there. I'm sure some, some people are going to really enjoy this. But you can even see in the trailer heel here, it's not... It's not active. Like, the only one doing anything cool is the enemy, man. Like, he gets to do all these, like, cool attacks and do all this other stuff. And, like, 
the character just sort of stands there and then does this. And like, maybe that looks cool in a movie, but like when you're playing, having your character just stand there waiting for a punch so that you can dodge it so that you can maybe do a good attack, just, oh man, it just feels like the complete wrong way around. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not here for it. I, I didn't have, I, I, I really literally didn't have any fun doing that. Um, even when I got my dodges in, it didn't feel good. It didn't feel uh, meaningful. It wasn't like I did a whole bunch of damage. I didn't do like a bunch of extra damage when I got my combos in. Do you know what I mean? Like I did some damage rather than none. Um, so it wasn't even that meaningful to do it. So that's a problem because if your whole game is based around this one concept of dodging to get combos to do the thing, when you do the combos, it should feel amazing. Yeah, as it is, when you do the combos, it just feels like nothing. It just, there, do you see, like you can even see in the trailer here, he's doing this big massive combo and he's done like 20% of the guy's health. Meanwhile, if he hits you twice, you lose half your health and his just regular punch takes out like half your health. Um, so if you screw up even a little bit, um, then, then you're done. And when you succeed really well, because it is hard to succeed, it doesn't feel good. It feels bad. It still feels bad. It all just feels bad. So I didn't, I didn't enjoy it like at all. I, I, I get what you're going for. And if there's a market out there for this, maybe someone will really like this, but I did not enjoy what I played there at all. It didn't feel good. Um, dodging stuff didn't feel good. It just, it, 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 it's a game punctuated by feeling bad, by punishing you for doing mistakes, but then there's no payoff for doing well. Yeah, like, I'm playing a lot of Darkest Dungeon 2 at the moment, and that is a game that will punish you hard for making mistakes, and it is just a hard game, but when you do well, it feels really good, you know, like, you get to a boss that you haven't been able to fight um, because you don't have the right composition. You build your team up, you get the right trinkets and stuff, you put them together, and suddenly the boss is like, oh, you just carve into him and like you're ready for all his attacks and all that. This just feels like, like there's nothing I can do to be more ready other than just dodging a little bit better. And then when I do dodge better, it doesn't actually do more damage or anything. It just does some damage. So there's no feel good aspect to this. So if you're if you're looking for feedback, man, that would be my feedback. You need to make it so that when you land those combos, when you get like a three dodge combo and you hit someone, that needs to feel amazing. There needs to be something phenomenal about it. There needs to be like blood flying or teeth breaking or something, man, because as it is, it's just, it may as well be nothing. It may as well not even happen because it just isn't interesting. Um, yeah, and I, I'm I'm ranting a little bit right now because it's one of the it's one of these games where I'm like, man, this seems like it could be good, um, but then it's just not. So yeah, so we're gonna read about this game. It currently costs twenty two dollars is the other thing, so it's not cheap. Um, become the immortal and fight extremely challenging bosses. Hone your skills and master the ability to dodge every attack while defeating enemies without receiving a single hit. Use simple controls to dodge and counter. Build up your dodge counter with every successful dodge. The higher it gets, the stronger your attacks get, and the longer your counter combo becomes. So it looks like three seems to be the max. I'm not seeing it go higher in any of his other videos or anything. Simple dodge, simplifying the ability to dodge every attack to a single button. That's cool. I like that. That's great. One shot camera. Never have to lose focus and being fully immersed without a single camera cut from start to finish. I don't. I don't understand why. I don't, yeah, I don't, um, the one shot camera, the, the thing that like zoomed around and did all that stuff inside the, uh, inside the thing. I don't understand the choice there. Um, I, I get, it is a choice. I just don't understand why. I don't, I don't know what, um, that adds to the game. Um, there are movies that have done the single shot thing and there's generally a reason for that. Um, but like in a video game, it just feels like. Why bother? Like, I don't, I don't know. I, all I got from watching the opening cinematic with the one-shot camera was a little bit motion sick. Uh, unique dodge animation. Having a completely different dodge animation for each attack type for more cool-looking poses. Yep, there were some cool dodges and stuff. But, like I said, there's some good stuff here. There's some stuff to really like. The problem is, is the actual meat of the gameplay isn't fun. Because there's no payoff 
for succeeding well. Um, new game plus. Bosses gain new attack patterns, better reaction times, and new weapon designs with every new game. Further testing your abilities each time. Realistic graphics. Enjoy the amazing graphics complemented by the enthralling soundtrack. I like the soundtrack. I like the graphics. I even like the concept, but like... If the payoff is dodging every attack, that needs to feel better. And if the payoff is dodging every attack so that you can then attack someone harder, so you can do a bigger attack, then the payoff for that definitely needs to be much, much better. Because at the moment, it just feels bad. Like, I, I got some three-point dodges and I did some attacks and I was like, oh, I did some damage. It wasn't like, yes, I got him. It was more like, oh, cool. You know, it wasn't, there was no exhilaration there. I didn't feel good about it. I didn't feel like I had won anything. I didn't feel like I got better. It just kind of felt like, yeah, that happened. So take that as you, as you will, man. Take that with a grain of salt. You don't have to listen to me. I'm not a game developer. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the process is for making something like that feel better, but I can tell you that it doesn't feel good right now. And so I'm not going to play the game anymore um, because the payoff isn't worth all of the frustration that is built into a game like this. Um, I'm not saying that frustrating game design is totally out of the picture. I, I think that there's a, a lot to be said for games that are hard and that uh, try your patience and that make you work for it. Um, but then the payoff for getting good at stuff needs to be really good. And it can't just be um, you sort of did a bit of damage instead of no damage. Yeah. So I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna say today. That's the pit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Check out the pit by clicking on the link in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.